Hey guys, and welcome back to more Dying Light. We are currently doing the mission Siblings. We are in train the school. We got pretty far in the last episode. So if you missed a lot of this, um, I'd recommend checking out the prior episode. It will explain a lot more. But anyway, we will continue investigating the school. Yeah. Hey, what's this? Bed hangover. Oh, we can craft three of it as well. Small hammer or a pick. Medium toxic, small cutting. Nothing says die, you son of a bitch. Like massive brute force trauma. Split open an artery and watch the fun. Hmm. But yeah, we have lots of this stuff. But. Sure, we'll probably get. This isn't really worth anything. It's gonna drop it. Let's check. There's no way to dismantle it, is it? No. Like some of this stuff you can dismantle. What happens if you try to dismantle it yourself? Like you get one metal. Definitely not worth it. So. The research this class. We did, okay. Ooh. Oh, holy shit, that still caused us quite a bit of damage. Let's heal up. We've already been here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I thought that room was locked last time. That sounds bad. Unlock the door and open it up. Wait, in the dark down here. Is that water? It is. Gotta be careful with my electric weapons here then. I'm pretty tired. It's kick. Come on, bud. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Head hits are so good. Oh, sweet shit. Is it gonna be good? We didn't lose a repair. We've been lucky on our, like, our last couple of repairs. What's this do? Not sure what that did, but oh, it stopped the water. Shoot! 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 Run! 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 That thing could have killed me. You and as my last, a perfect counter shows, you don't want to be even very close at all to these guys. Give me a hand here, would you? Yeah, sure. God, Crane, you're such an oaf. Why don't you just stick your head out the door and shout, Here we are, come get us! Hey, sometimes there's nothing wrong with a direct approach. Hmm. Holy shit. Explosives. That's Plastic explosives, right? All right, listen, you take this stuff and get back to the tower. I'll deal with these assholes. Don't be ridiculous. We'll fight them together. And risk letting them keep this much ordinance? No, just go. I got this. Meet me back at the tower. Yeah. Promise me. You won't let Rahim near that hut. What? Yeah, of course. I promise. I promise. Just go. Oh, he actually wants to blow up that hive. Fuck you. 
Yeah. You wanna go? Oh shoot. Shoot, kick him. So three, or they all dead? And I think there's, that's our backpack full. So I guess the poor ore is going. I love this ore, but it's the only thing left. Holy crap, do we ever have a lot of nice stuff. So I have to go through it. But let's quickly go through it. What's worth the most? The sickle's worth 4,000. The crude pick's worth 4,815.72 damage. Sickle is 80 damage, but. More durability? Yeah, I don't know. That garden sickle, that's pretty good. Still some upgrades on it, but. Anyway, police baton. Yeah. It's. Police baton's really good handling, though. Probably use that. 35 on the club hammer. Yeah. More weapons than I'm probably ever going to use. To be honest. I don't want to leave the school yet, I don't think. Search these two bags, nothing. Pull those two of them. See, just quickly check out the rest of the school. Yeah, I guess we'll leave the school. So we may as well use this electric weapon now because shit. Jade and I went looking for Antizen and found explosives instead. Now we need to get the hell out of here before Tahir comes back. Yeah, sounds like a good plan. It's night? <laughs> if it's night time, I'm just gonna bolt it then. Crane, you said we needed to talk about other options if we didn't find any antisen. And we will, but right now let's deal with these explosives, okay? Will do, don't worry. Don't worry? Right. Sweet. Survive the night unnoticed. No fight. I'm covering for you. Mr. Dahl should fire you. This guy buy stuff? That's Jafar. That's one. Oh, it's up there. <coughs> but yeah, hmm. I kind of do want to meet Jade back at the tower, but I want to drop off some of this stuff first. So the, I'll just pick the most expensive stuff and put it in there. The rest I'll just kind of sell. Club hangers, garden sickle, and a baton. The rest of it can kind of just be sold. Yeah, the rest of that stuff can be sold. But yeah, I want to give it a shot and try to run. What time is it? Oh, it's no, it's no longer night. 
Okay, well, I guess we could talk to some of these kids. Oh, no, wait, he's got a challenge. Hmm, do you want to do a challenge? We'll come back here a different day for that. I just want to head back to the tower for now. <coughs> Finish this up. Sell and sell a bunch of stuff. Okay, so if you're tired from running, you can't do it either. Oh, shoot. Let's run. So yeah, we didn't have too much tr trouble getting out of there. I guess time takes actively, so we're in there for a long time, so I can see why it would have been turned to night. <coughs> Tower's right here. Made back. Wait. Am I missing something? Oh, he's on the outside of the tower. Yeah, we'll go quickly help him. No? Thought he was like behind the tower, but guess not. Do you need something? Short fisher's men knife. Not very good. Oh pick up pick up all that stuff. I think there is a salesman over here. Uh, he's in here by the bed. Okay, so now we're getting even more money. We may as well. Ooh, but we're getting even better stuff to buy. P pry bar. 91 damage. Just way better than any of the stuff I'm selling. How much is it going to be? 299 for each. That's fine. So the thing in the corner must mean... But it's sellable. It has a high handling, but don't want it. I also have seventy four, seven thousand four hundred dollars in valuables. Do I have fluorescent shoes? I have five of them, which is another five hundred. But let's check out the fastball special. Melee weapons impact. That's actually pretty cheap. But yeah, I guess I could throw it on there. Put on my baseball bat. Give it a little bit more damage. Stronger than ever before. People are counting on you to help them out. So yeah, my backpack's empty right now. Please, don't just stand around. Do something. We'll talk to Rakim about the hive, and then we'll call it an episode. Jade called me. She's taking the explosives to Saeed. She wanted me to talk to Rahim about the volatile hive and how she wants him to stay the hell away from it. Yeah. And if not, I could do the dirty work, not him. Oops. Turn that off. That guy doesn't want to talk to me, but... Plane drive flying by, it must be a drop. Gonna miss it, I guess. No. Nope. Looks like our leader is here. Oh, oh, he's on the roof. That's where he usually is. Sorry. I just forget that he's always on the roof. Because that's the first place I met him is in Bracken Shroom, so. Crane! He told me about the explosives you guys found. How perfect is that? Jade gave them to him. Saeed used to be on a bomb squad, so he knows about that stuff. 
Yeah, kid. That was a lucky find. Would've been better to turn up some antis in, though. My buddy Omar is making sure Saeed's putting good timers on those things. We have to be able to get our asses out of there before they blow. Whoa, we? There, there's no we in this. I, I mean, yeah, that nest needs to go, and now it's possible, but... But if it gets done, I'm doing it on my own. But... It's my plan. And I will execute it perfectly, I promise. But... Ah, oh, shit. There's no use arguing with you, is there? Fine. I'll contact you as soon as Saeed's finished with the charges. Raheem, do we have a deal? I guess. Do we have a deal? Yes. We have a deal. Okay, one more thing. I keep seeing this bizarre kind of infected. Is Dr. Zera out at his trailer? I'd like to talk to him about it. Nah, he's down in sick bay visiting Dr. Lina. Thanks, kid. I'll see you soon. Perfect. Probably in this quest will be to talk to Dr. Zare. We'll do that as well in this episode. Because it'll be right here. Good work taking out that Antizin lab. You've saved a lot of lives. Now it's only a matter of time before someone starts another one. The danger is all those empty Antizin bottles out there. People throw them away, and then anyone can refill them with whatever they like. Then you better start destroying them. We've collected all the bottles in the tower. Plus, Brecken is offering a $10 bounty for every bottle you runners find out there. Hey, Doc, you got a minute? Oh, it's, uh, Kane. Yes. Uh, how can I help you? A crane. Remember when I told you about that weird infect that I saw? You know, the one who took one look at me and hauled ass away? Well, I just saw another one, and it did the same thing. Hmm. I believe I have heard your colleagues talk about those creatures. Bolters, they call them. Apparently, they favor certain areas of town over others, but only appear at night. I don't suppose you could catch one and bring me a sample of its flesh. You see, a thought occurred to me. A long shot, I realize. But if these creatures favor areas where I left my experimental bait, well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Please do obtain a sample, but it has to be fresh. So you have to get it back to me quickly. Okay, and where exactly do I find these things? I'm told that Quartermaster chap has been keeping track of them. Okay. Um, now we'll call it an episode here. It seems like it's going to be a talk to this person, talk to this person, talk to this person sort of thing. So we'll call it an episode here. We'll be back in the next one for more Dying Light. Thanks, guys. Later.